love going to visit Oji-san and Obasans. It's so beautiful out here. I mean, just look at the mountains in the distance. And over there, that river flowing towards us. It's breathtaking. Yeah, well enjoy it while you can, Julia said. When we get to Oji-san's, we'll be put to work in the rice fields. Try and enjoy the scenery then. As Julia spoke, his cousin looked at him, shocked. But I like going to work with Oji-san in the rice fields. Last year he planted a special stock just for me. I love it. It's mine. <laughs> Easy for you to say, Julia sighed. If you were older, you'd be put to work like us. Last year they had us hauling bundles all over the place. It was torture. Maya laughed at her brother. You're such a boy. You're just upset that I was so much faster than you. You boys can't handle when us girls best you with things like that. Julius flushed. I have no idea what you're talking about, he muttered. Besides, you cheated. What? Maya shrieked. I did not. Why? Maya was cut short as her father interrupted. Do any of you kids remember which way to go? He asked. I can't quite seem to recall. Julius rolled his eyes. Turn right up ahead, he said, pointing. Seriously, you grew up there. You should know which way to go. As they rolled up the driveway, the car screeched to a halt. Well, here we are. And just look at those gorgeous rice fields. The little boy looked out the window, then shrieked in delight. Oh, Jisan, oh, Basan, he cried, then rushed from the car to his grandparents. Why, hello, dear, Obasan said, giving him a hug. Look how big you've gotten. As the little boy rushed towards Ojisan, Obasan turned to the rest of her family. It's so good to see you all again, she said. But it's getting cold out here, so let's head inside. I have dinner already made. As everyone headed to the house, Obasan pulled Julius aside. Hold on a moment. There's something I'd like you to do before you eat, she said. Maya drooled as she walked into the kitchen. Oh, that looks so good! I've prepared rice and grilled fish for you to eat, Obasan said. I've also got some tea for you to drink if you like. She placed a cup on the table. Ooh, Ocha! Thanks, Obasan! As the family ate, Obasan looked at the sundial that was placed outside. Oh my, she said. Look at the time right now. I thought Julius would be back already. I hope he's all right. I can help you look for him, Obasan, Maya said, standing up. Thank you, dear. He should be over here. Obasan gestured to a door, and Maya slowly pushed it open. Julius, she called. Are you in here? When she looked inside, she burst out laughing. There, on the floor, lay Julius, passed out in front of the pommel horse. It's all thanks to this special workout I asked him to start. It's the origin of a healthy body. Ha! <laughs> I've never seen him that lively and spirited before, Maya laughed. Julius felt himself floating upwards. I'm going to heaven. It's heaven! His joy was short-lived, however, as he experienced a jolt, and all too soon, felt himself waking up. Come now, dear. Let's get you to bed. Obasan said. Together, she and Maya helped walk the groggy Julius to his room. The door creaked as Obasan opened it. Well, here we are, she said. We redecorated it just for you. We even put up a poster since we know you love them so much. All right, try and get a good night's sleep. You've got a busy day tomorrow. Good night. As he climbed into bed, Julius saw the poster. It was a giant eye staring down at him from the ceiling. He had no idea what it was, but clearly it could see him. Uncomfortable, Julius pulled his blankets close. Sleep well, she says. <laughs> yeah, right.